threatened to put the whole world to sleep in three hours unless he gets ten million dollars. Gee, number one, I'm a little short this week. Will 35 cents help? Oh, shut up! Now, Riggs has devised some tools for the assignment. Oxygen mask, scuba diving suit. Real cool, real cool. And an ASRG automatic sneeze ray gun. Guaranteed to make any living thing sneeze uncontrollably. Now, this will rob Harry of his most powerful asset, breath control. Cool. Real cool. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Real, real cool. The coolest. <laughs> Keep me informed of your progress and be very careful. Don't worry, number one. Danger is my business. Couple of bye bye waves. <laughs> Number one, I've just weathered the last tidal wave thrown at me by Harry and. That's the second last tidal wave. Proceed underwater, it'll be safer. I think it would be safer by air. Underwater. Air. Sorry about this. Roger and I. <laughs> Now 
When you're right, number one, you're right. Proceeding underwater. <laughs> where the automatic firing button is on this sneeze gun. It's this little red button here. <laughs> no, it's, it's a little red button there. It's the blue one. Red. Look, number one, I know it's the blue one because when I press the red one, absolutely nothing happens. And uh, nothing happens. See? Did you get that? Oh, shoot! When you're right, number one, you're right. That will never happen. Now number one thinks me the fool Has no respect for the name McCool But in the days gone by right up at the top There was Harry McCool, he was my pop <sighs> My pop the cop Okay, man, let's go a little hotter and a little faster. Hold it. You weren't pedaling. When you have a back seat, you don't pedal either. And when you're back there, I suppose you do. I played that pedal in five. If I didn't know. What did he say, Harry? What did he say? He said he didn't think we noticed. All right. All right. From now on, it's not the first one to get to the seat who gets it. We divide it up fair and square. We choose for it. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. Four potato, four potato, six potato, more. Four potato. My mother says the one who it is is Y-O-U. <laughs> Isn't that nice? The sergeant gets the back seat. I thought. There won't be any more backseat, McCool. While you ninnies were playing one potato, two potato, you let a crook get away. No more bicycle. You're gonna learn how to drive a car. Now you've finished your basic training in the automobile, so I'm gonna see how good you do. Who's gonna drive first? One potato, two potato, three potato, four. Stop it. McCool, you drive. Now, don't forget to take your foot off the pedal when I turn the crank, or you'll... Run me over! That will never happen again, Sarge. <laughs> All right, crank her up. Now, don't forget which way is forward and which way is reverse, or you'll... Run me over again! I'm going to give you another chance. Because this is a new invention, and because you're stupid! <laughs> okay, now drive that car! Hey, it worked! Let me see if I can steer it! I'll circle around. The brake, McCall! The brake! <laughs> 
That will never happen again, son. <laughs> This is your final test. Just once around the station house, that's all. Think you can do it? Sure, sure, Sarge. Don't worry about a thing. Here we go. At least I'm safe. They can't get me here. <laughs> Why say, Harry? Why say? He said Sarge said something about our getting a license to kill. Here's our chance, boys. Let's crank him up. Do you think we can run fast enough to catch our car? Not a chance. Small wager! I died. If we had our good old bicycle. My name. It was a good time, by the way. The old bike! Come on, boys, we're not through yet. One potato, two potato, three potato. My mother says the one who's at is why are you? Tom, get your back seat. <laughs> Taking away your driver's license and issuing you your own bicycle back again. Congratulations! Fine, fine. I mean, I mean, I mean, Hold it! You had the back seat last time, Tom. It's my turn. Hold it, Harry. Hold it. I haven't had it in two weeks, and I. I'm thinking of a number between one five hundred and thirty-eight. Ah, uh, one potato, two potato, three potato, four. Danger is my business. So, Cool McCool put the owl in the cooler. <laughs> but not for long. <laughs> The owl will soon be on the prowl again. <laughs> you're, you're, you're not an owl. You're a cuckoo. <laughs> It's my 
my band of bird bandits. <laughs> My plume prison pickers. Before I once again start a life of crime, I shall finish my cool. Simple bird buddies. Meet the greatest impersonator in the world. The Mockingbird. Meet the greatest impersonator in the world. The Mockingbird. Nobody mocks the owl. That will never happen again, Owl Number One. The Mockingbird has studied the voice of McCool Superior Number One. He will contact McCool on his secret mustache phone. Imitate Number One and order McCool here to my trap. It's a bird brainstorm. Quiet while I dial M for McCool's mustache. My mustache phone. McCool speaking. Uh, McCool, this is number one. Uh, the owl is really one of our agents in disguise. The owl? Uh, from now on, you'll take orders from him. Proceed to his treehouse immediately. Unarmed. Right, number one. <laughs> My coolmobile is awake. Hey, Owl. He's here. He'll soon be in the here. This way, McCool. Hoot! Hoot! Dope. I said hoot! Not shoot! That will never happen again, Owl Number One. I'll be up in a jiffy. Make that two jiffies. The fool captured himself. I guess I fell. Oh, yeah. You fell for my impersonation. <laughs> You're not number one. You're not even number two. And your number, McCool, is up. <laughs> I can't get my fingers to my mouth to whistle for the coal mobile. <laughs> I to think I nearly took a taxi. to your impersonation, I'm going back to prison. Well, that's show business. Well, number one, that closes the case on the owl. Whoa that will never happen again, number one. Well, I've done the wrong thing again, but at least I did it to the right boss. Again. <laughs>
here is my business.